All right, y'all. So yeah, I got a sledge. If you guys saw the video earlier, um, I went to the hobby shop down in Stockbridge and uh, went ahead and uh, moved forward with this. I said to myself, if they got an orange one, we'll move forward with it. And guess what? They had an orange one. So uh, you guys know there's tons of unboxings on this. I'm not going to go too in depth on this. There's plenty of videos on this. And I actually did an RC update on this. And I went to uh, Hobby Town in um, Kennesaw, Georgia, when they had the demo model in. And I showed you guys some of the ins and outs of this. But I went ahead, moved forward with this. I know you guys want to see me running. A lot of people have been asking me to get this vehicle and actually run it and give some of my thoughts on it too so we will be doing that um, i'm going to unbox this real quick and then we'll also be doing a super speed saturday so stay tuned later on tonight for or later on this evening i should say for a super speed saturday but basically in a nutshell this is uh tracks this is first um truggy eight scale truggy because the e-revo isn't really a truggy but i'll do a video comparing the e-revo uh, 2.0 to this too at some point and then i'll get my chronos out uh, my tile and etc and we'll just do some running videos to show on it but let me go ahead let's get this open and let's take a look because i have not seen the orange up close so i'm really curious of what this orange looks like all right so getting this out of course tqi radio i believe this comes in bluetooth enabled yep it does uh so i can download the app and get all that run i actually have the app on another phone and let me pull this out and I was actually upside down, and there we go. Oh, yeah. Gotta love the smell of that new RC car. Got a little foam back here and on my hands and stuff. So let me go ahead. Um, let's pull this out, and let's take a closer look at it. All right, before we take this off, we got to get rid of this, this foam on here. <laughs> we just, we got to. <laughs> I'm gonna get all this off, clean this up. Now we can unbox it and look at it closely. All right, y'all, <laughs> got all that foam out the way. So this is an actual beautiful truck. I showed you guys this when a uh, hobby town uh, in Kennesaw, Georgia had a demo model in, but it was a green one. And they've got several colors. They got this. Um, orange color and then they got a red a blue and then a green of course you guys know i like red and orange so if i had to choose between the two i always kind of go with an orange color if that's available but the truck is set up nice you guys know that like i said there's tons of videos on this um already um as far as unboxing and some of the specs for it and then also some of the stuff that people also say you should kind of look at before you drive it i know one of the things is I'll be checking the rear dog bones to make sure um, that it's got that little rubber O-ring on both sides so these don't pop out. Actually, you guys hear that? I don't, I don't think that's in there. Um, so I'll be checking. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. So definitely going to be um, checking and adding that in because that's got, those are just missing from there. Um, I think A-Man Hobbies, when they ran theirs, theirs was completely missing too. So they went ahead and they put some uh, rubber o-rings or something there. so that's the first thing i'm gonna do um for this and that could have been something that was just missed when they were putting it together but anyway other than that um the truck is actually built pretty tough um from what i've seen some of the videos and stuff we're gonna run this and see um it's got roof rails on top and it's also got a little small protection in the front but one of the revolutionary things is this body you just actually two hands on the side you lift this up clips up and uh if i can get this off real quick makes a little clipping noise and it actually of course pushes forward and slides off so I don't have to worry about this body actually flying off when I drive it and look at the inside of this looks nice on the inside uh, so like I said I've showed this to you guys kind of in the RC update and then also kind of when Hobby Town first got down I know I'm beating a dead horse with this so that's why I said I'm not really gonna go too much in the unboxing on this and too much in the details you guys know big board shocks etc um it's not traxxas it's first a uh, car with an aluminum chassis um they had cars back in the day from the traxxas bullet uh the radicate i think is when they started doing a um, plastic chassis but they had the blue eagle and the blue eagle ls and i've had both of those cars i've had all those cars actually um back in the past and then they started going to, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as um, plastic chassis with their 10 scales. And then they did it with the E-Revo and stuff. So this is this could be probably considered one of their first um, eight scale truggies with an aluminum chassis board. You guys can see it's got that blue chassis underneath it there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get this running up ASAP. You guys know it's got a 2000 kV motor. This has got to be at least a 150 amp speed controller. 
um, with it. I'm pretty much fine with the motor and ESC. I don't know how strong that servo is going to be. Um, um, but their electronics, as far as stock out the box and the way they gear it, should be fine for what I'm going to be doing and running um, for this, which you guys will see in the videos. But definitely will be um, doing those rear dog bones before I do anything else. I know I don't want to run this and those pop out. That's probably just something um, that was missed in production. You guys can hear it with that and that's definitely gonna pop out as soon as I do a run and jump or something like that. Um, but other than that guys, um, I want to get this running. I'm excited to get this running. Stay tuned for a super speed Saturday later today because I am going to test this out to see what kind of speeds we get stock out the box <laughs> um, with this. And real quick on your bag of goodies, uh, you do get several things in there. You get some tools for it, some stickers, um, a little foam padding that is probably for the um, battery tray that's going to be right there. And I know you can fit a pretty large size batteries in there. And of course, instruction manual and stuff for it. Um, so this is good. They, they give you tools and stuff with it. But like I said, I'm not going to go into in depth and all that because there's tons of videos out there with this. But I did want to let you guys know, got one of these. Um, I'll be running it stock out the box. I think to get the 70 plus miles per hour, you do have to re-gear it. But they're pretty good at gearing their cars pretty good stock out the box um, and getting a good run time with it too so we'll see what kind of speeds we get on so i'm probably just going to straight run it on 6s so you guys stay tuned for that uh put down in the comments below if you got one um if you had any issues with it or what you've done to upgrade it so far i know they got tons of upgrades and stuff for it um the truck does cost 7.99 so um you're looking at about 850 um or so it just depends on your state and county with taxes it's going to be about 845 or more with tax. It just depends on your state you're in and kind of the county and all that stuff. But and even sometimes the countries I know in some overseas places it does cost a little bit more. But anyway, that's a quick look at this. Like I said, I'm not going in depth, but we will get this running. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thanks for watching.